Alright all right, guys and girls, welcome back to another video. Saturday 25th of May 2019, 6.05 right now. <coughs> so I'll just try to adjust that. Sounds like a duck actually when I'm moving this. Just make sure that's in tight. So I've done roughly 106, no, 176 miles on this bike so far. <sighs> Trying to get up to at least a thousand without it bloody uh, conking out and stuff. But that's going to be a bit of a challenge. <sighs> Let's make sure my helmet's on first. <sighs> make sure it's on tight. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get back. Go around here. Right. Just going through a TK Max area. What I find though a little bit annoying is the actual uh, pedals, they don't seem wide enough so I might have to get an upgrade on the uh, pedals a bit, they're way too sort of uh, narrow. Like your feet just slip off so easy. Right, let's get down here. and gently does it. <coughs> Still makes you work your legs out forget it guys and girls as well. Your legs are still working as well, so it's not like you're cheating. You get a bit of uh, assistance with it when you've got it on high. I'd say about 70 to 80% help on it. When you're on the mid sort of standard mode, I'd say it's knocked down to about 50% help. So you still have to put at least 50% of your power of your legs in if you want the full throttle on it. This is on the Carrera Vengeance.
and there's no like sort of rear suspension as well the suspension is absolutely rubbish at the back because I rent them <sighs> my leg muscle is starting to build up quite a bit as well So I've got to go back through some bushes, some trees and all that, let's just see. Hey. I would do my 360 camera at the moment and do some videos on that, but I've got to upload some of the videos off it, so I've got to take some of the videos and they're going to take a while just to develop to my uh, card and all that, SD card. Whew. I might start converting them first over onto the uh, memory card and then just upload them one after each other. Should be good then. Right. Oh, a little bit chilly now. Lucky I've got my sort of hoodie sort of thing on that. Manual just went over. Take a shortcut. One says that's your shortcut, really, actually, because it still goes the exact same sort of distance as I would if I'm going around the other way. Let's go on some grass as well. Actually, I'm going to go on the grass for a minute. Alright, this is actually really good to go on grass as well. The grass bit is really good. I'm on the grass at the moment doing about 11, 12 miles per hour. Really good for sort of energizing, not energizing, but more like weighing down the battery a little bit. And then get home and do a recharge on it. And also I get my mileage on this as well, just doing these bits on the grass. A little lake down there, or a little water thing. It's pretty good on the grass actually, not bad at all. The back, I mean, is not doing any justice on it, though, with the, the no rear sort of suspension. Front suspension's brilliant, though, because literally it's just going through all the grass and everything, and the grass is just amazing on it. Handles like a flipping dream, guys, and guys. So it's not really much of a bumpy right? but yeah, the front suspension's absolutely amazing on it. Alright, go around one more time, and then I'll go around the block. Yeah, you can feel the bumps as well when I'm riding as well, you can actually feel it on the screen going up and down, shaking. It's because I'm on the grass. Alright, my car I've circled around this bullet twice 
and he still hasn't made it to the other end yet. That's how good this bike is. Alright. Alright. Anyway, guys and girls, I'll be back in a minute.